Here we have a problem that comes from partial differential equations. The three-dimensional Laplace equation, second partial of f with respect to x plus the second partial of f with respect to y plus the section, second partial of f with respect to z equals zero is satisfied by a steady state temperature distribution t equal f of x, y, z. Show that this particular function on three variables, e to the 3x plus 4y, all in the exponent, times cosine of 5z, satisfies a Laplace equation. Well, this is one of those problems that tells us a whole bunch of stuff. Apparently, I'm dealing with temperature distributions. I don't really need to know that. All I need to recognize is that to satisfy a Laplace equation, I have to take all three partials, all three second partials, and make sure those second partials sum to zero. So, let's take our function and start just by taking first the first partials and then second the second partials. So first up, let's take a partial with respect to x. All right, so I'm gonna treat every other variable like it's a constant. So this cosine of 5z hanging out there, that's just a constant. So it's just going to appear in my final answer, like taking the derivative of three times e to the something. And then I need to take the derivative of e to the three x plus four y. Well, that's gonna be e to the three x plus four y times the derivative of the inside is three and still times that cosine of five z. All right, let's go on and take the second partial with respect to x. All right, well, I'm going to repeat that process, and I'll just end up with a 9 out front. Let's take a partial with respect to y. All right, well, if I think about it, the only thing that's going to change is the chain rule part, right? Instead of taking the derivative of the 3x, it'll be the 4y. So I can think my way through this. cosine of 5z. And now I need to take a partial with respect to z twice. All right, well now the e to the 3x plus 4y is a constant. I'm just really taking the derivative of cosine of 5z. Well, that would be the opposite of sine of 5z times 5. So I'm going to write that out front. And then that e to the 3x plus 4y Repeat that process, the second partial of z. Well, I'm gonna do the same thing, except for now the sine's gonna become a cosine, and I'll multiply by another five, I'll get minus 25, e to the three x plus four y times cosine of five z. And now I have to think about adding these things together. Well, fxx plus fyy plus fzz, well, let's see, that's 9 and 16 there would give me 25e to the 3x plus 4y cosine of 5z plus a minus that same thing. And that certainly equals 0. So the function I was given does satisfy this Laplace equation. Better said this 3D Laplace equation. Now you'll notice that between what was given to me and what I wrote down, I changed the notation from this notation for a second partial to this notation. I found it more convenient and we can do that whenever we like.